What up, YouTube? You already know. It's your boy, the Latin Assassin himself, tapping back in one more again. What to do with Big Lou? NFZR2, baby, baby. So, as you can tell from the thumbnail, we're still on this this hype, right? I'm on this train. Tank Davis, Ryan Garcia, and this ain't even the end of it here. There's more, some controversial stuff came out now about a mold and all that. We ain't going to touch on that on this video. This is going to be a very quick, short video on after the fight, leading up to the fight, all the shit that was being talked. It wasn't a whole lot of bad, bad shit being talked, but there was some playful shit being talked. You know, putting your fist on, uh, you know, Tank putting his fist on um, Ryan's chin, talking about he felt it was soft and this and that, those type of things. You know, oh, he, you know, I thought he was a lot taller than that, you know, than when we went told, uh, I'd, I, or, uh, you know, we posted up on each other. Um, you know, and all that type of stuff. Um, but after the fight, the fact, the words that they said about each other in the ring when they're being interviewed by Jim Gray, and then, you know, even Jim Gray, he was all juiced, and he took a picture, a selfie with uh, Tank Davis, and then he asked Tank, are you, do you feel like you're the f a face of boxing now? And he says, yes, absolutely, absolutely, fucking literally, he says, right? Anyways, fast forward a bit, you know, and then the controversy stuff too about De La Hoya and Bernard Hopkins not being there to support Ryan Garcia as him being pretty much the face of Golden Boy. They do have a couple other good fighters there that, that show some promise and, you know, potential, you know, but, you know, Ryan's a more well-known fighter. You got, uh, there's a De La Hoya over there. There's a Diaz over there. Um, anyways, so I just did, I just dropped the video on that. It's taking a minute to upload. So there's going to be two videos that my phone's going to be uploading. So it's going to be very slow. It's slow anyway. So on top of, you know, doing two videos, it's going to be very slow. And I'm probably going to be dropping a couple shorts here to try to catch up what I've been missing out on. So hopefully you guys help out uh, like you guys usually do. Support the channel by viewing the, 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 the shorts, the videos and whatever I drop. And then also commenting and, and hitting the like button and all that other stuff. Um, but uh, this video, like I said, everything that I've already stated up until the post interview of the fight afterwards, um, I thought that these guys were very classy, two individuals, very sportsmanlike, very good sportsmanship. Um, you know, they uh, even Tank Davis was caught on film, you know, not caught, excuse me, you know, uh, some footage of him embracing Ryan's mom and, and, and talking to her for a while and giving her a hug. Um, Ryan, you know, they both uh, congratulated each other's camps, you know, as far as, you know, good work, whatever, whatever. They showed Conor McGregor talking to Ryan Garcia, you know, giving him, uh, you know, some awesome words of encouragement. Um, you know, at the end of the day, after this fight, I mean, what I seen with, the, like I said, the sportsman like the sportsmanship was off the charts. It, this is what we need more in boxing. It can't be so much of this hate, you know, leading into the fight. We know that it's going to be built up, but there's certain things you should, you know, that should be off limits of saying, not saying these guys said anything prior to the fight that were off limits, but we know there's been many a guys that said some things out there that just stupid, like, you know, I'm not gonna let a white boy beat me, terrible things about somebody's kids and family, uh, their nationality, their race, whatever, you know, those type of things. I'm looking up. Um, but the way these guys bounced back, I, you know, came back after the fight with the pictures with each other, the great words they had for each other. Um, I think it was what's up, and that's what we need more in boxing. So with that being said, oh, before I go, but leave it, in, leave your opinion and perspective on this situation or this this uh, topic of the video in the comment section. Let me know what you guys think about it. Do you guys think boxing and sports in period, sports in general need more of the sportsman like the sportsmanship, uh, you know, on the on the positive side compared to the negative side, or is it just whatever? You guys think anything helps, you know, sell the fight, and it, it, it is what it is, and, and let's just have it. So let me know. With that being said, Big Lou, tapping on out.